Warm Studio. I'm with Kate Capriola with Whispering Willow Pet Funeral and Cremation Services. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. So you have a, a very unique business. Tell me about what it is and how you got into it. So we are a pet funeral and cremation service, obviously, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we take care of the end-of-life care for pets in our community. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got started because I've been in the funeral industry for the last 15 years, okay. the human funeral industry. Sure. And um, when our pet Bella died, we just saw a real need for more kind of compassionate care yeah. for pets at the end of life. I've been serving families with their, their, their families mm -hmm. this long, and we just discovered a need for helping our pets. Too, yeah. because our pets are part of our family mm -hmm. and it's so important that we um, that we understand that when our pet dies we're grieving that way too I sure. think um, I think people don't deal with grief very much in our culture mm -hmm. at this point let alone with pets yeah and so um, with with our experience with Bella passing um, it wasn't great yeah and we just needed to come up with a solution to make a more smooth transition for our our community, our families and our community. And so that's what we do. That's our main goal, is to make everything smooth and um, just kind of be there for them and make sure that they are allowed themselves to grieve their pets. Yeah, did you find there was like a lack of services in general or more of a lack of empathetic services or what did you discover? A lot of empathetic, lack of empathetic services. Yeah. Um, we've heard that from a lot of our clients as well and we we wanted to be a local resource for our families. Mm -hmm. um, when when people's pets pass away in, in the Rockford area, a lot of them get shipped off to Chicago to a, you know, like a warehouse kind of yeah and that to me is very uncomfortable sure. and for a lot of our clients too because they they're often wondering if they're getting their pets back yeah and that is something that I can't live with you know with people wondering if they're actually getting their pets back so that's why we're a good local resource we've got a crematory on site mm -hmm. we've got a very detailed tracking system um, to make sure that everybody's beloved pets are going back home with them mm -hmm. and that's that's something that we thought was extremely important so what kind of services do you offer obviously cremation but are mm -hmm. there other options for people there are pet? there are one of our bigger services that we offer is in-home euthanasia okay and one of the reasons why we offer that service is because pets don't like going to the vet anyway yeah. let alone when they're sick and yeah. it's it's traumatizing. And the last sure. thing we want for our pets is to be traumatized at the very end of their life. Mm -hmm. So we offer in-home euthanasia. We partner with a vet that's able to do that. And um, it's just a really comforting, another comforting aspect that we offer our families. And so when you kind of go through these services, can people get like a little, I don't know, like a headstone or something? They to, can. Okay. We offer all sorts of keepsake items, we sure. offer urns, we offer, you know, jewelry, um, different kinds of paw prints that people can take home that we, we try to make everything customized because it's it's their pet. We want them to remember their pet. Mm -hmm. And when you say pet, you do cats, dogs? We do all all sorts hamsters. of pets. Hamsters. <laughs> we've done, we've, we've done turtles, we've done goats, we've done really? hamster, you know, the whole gambit. And because... So that's, yeah. that's, they're all everybody's pets, yeah. you know? And so since you started out, the business is fairly new. Yes. Have, how has like the public's reception been? Have you seen a need for this? Yes, it's been wonderful. All of our clients are just the best hearted people mm -hmm. and they, they tell us how much they appreciate our services and that there is in fact this huge need for the empathetic care that we give them because mm -hmm. there's just a lack of it and we want to make up for that lack. Sure. So if somebody wanted to, you know, book your services, whether it's the euthanasia or the mm -hmm. afterlife, how do they kind of go about that? And what does the process look like? Well, they can go on our website, whisperingwillowpetfuneral.com, mm -hmm. and they can contact us through, the, uh, through that um, or call us anytime. We're on call 24-7 to meet the needs of all of our clients. Um, we do pre-arrangements as well. So any, any questions about any services or setting up any appointments, just contact us anytime and we'll, we'll walk you through the entire process.
Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. One more time for the website. WhisperingWillowPetFuneral.com. Perfect. We'll be right back.